Hello everyone, I am Sonali Kanavi, Assistant Professor of AIDS Department of All India Shri Shivaji Memorial Society Institute of Information Technology, Pune. So today our topic is waterfall model. So before starting our uh, waterfall model, uh, before that, uh, what is the software? Software is nothing but it is the uh, collection of specified program which takes user input and generates desired output. There are two types of software. First one is the system software and second one is the application software. So uh, next is the waterfall model. Waterfall model having several stages. First is the requirement. Uh, then next is analysis, then design, coding, uh, then uh, testing, then operation or deployment and maintenance. So uh, before going to start our waterfall model, it is the basic of uh, software life cycle. Uh, software life cycle having two types, software development life cycle and software testing life cycle. So waterfall uh, model is basically uh, including a software development life cycle. Software development life cycle uh, it is a step-by-step -step implementation of software. And software development life cycle is, a, uh, is an uh, systematic approach to develop software. It is a process by software developers and software tester to provide quality software. So uh, basically the SDLC aims to uh, produce high quality software that meet uh, customer expectation and completion within time and cost estimations. Then uh, it is, uh, there are several stages. First one is the uh, requirement. Uh, requirement is nothing but, uh, it is nothing but uh, the, the business requirements are gathered in this space and meeting held with client or customer uh, in order to determine the requirements like uh, who is going to use the system then how will they use the system or uh, domain of that system then what data should be input and what will be the output uh, then in this phase basically uh, business analysts collect the uh, basically collect the uh, requirements from the customer as per the client's business need and document uh, will be prepared and uh, this is nothing but the brs document brs is nothing but the uh, business requirement specification and uh, hence BRS is the bridge between client and uh, business uh, analyst. Second phase is the analysis. Analysis uh, is once the BRS get ready, uh, the next step is to do analysis of BRS and prepare SRS document accordingly. So uh, SRS document consists of detailed technical information and specification of software. So, uh, uh, SRS consists of uh, all the pro uh, product requirement to be designed and developing during the project life cycle. So, SRS is detailed technical description of VRS. So, in this phase, uh, basically, business analyst, developer, and QA team head, then design engineer and project uh, managers are involved. So, uh, in uh, analysis phase, uh, basically, SRS document is prepared. So SRS uh, consists of uh, uh, software requirement specification, and in that uh, there are four uh, four uh, functions are there. That is functional flow diagram, functional requirement, then uh, snapshot and uh, use cases. So uh, these are the SRS document. Then next uh, stage is uh, design. Uh, in design phase. Uh, uh, in design phase, senior developer and architect, that is UI and UX de developer, uh, they give the architecture of software product to the developer. It has two steps. One is high-level design and another is low-level design. So high-level design is uh, overall system design, covers the system main module. And low-level design is detailed system design, covers sub-modules, which comes under main module. So uh, this is the design phase. And in this phase, uh, basically UI and UX developer or architect are involved. Then next is coding phase or uh, implementation phase. Then uh, in this phase, developer, that is a senior developer, it may be junior developer and fresher. 
involved in this phase. In this phase, we are uh, we uh, start building the software, starts uh, writing the code uh, for the product, and uh, the work is divided in multiple uh, or units. Uh, the actual coding is started in this coding phase, and it is meant for uh, focus for developer. So coding is one of the uh, longest phase of SDLC and uh, basically uh, all developers are involved in this space. So uh, that is front end developer, then uh, back end developer and uh, database developer or uh, it is Java developer or uh, database developer. Then next is the testing phase. Uh, in testing phase, once the software is get uh, completed, and it is deployed to the uh, deploy in testing environments. So the testing team starts testing, either test the software manually or uh, using automated testing. Testing is done uh, to verify that the entire application works according to the customer requirement. So during this phase, testing team uh, may find uh, defects which they communicate to developers and the develop uh, development team uh, fix the defect and send back to the testing for retest. So this process continues until the software is working according to the business need of the system. So uh, next is the uh, deployment uh, deployment or operation phase. Uh, in this phase, after successful testing, the application is transferred to production and uh, production and deployment is done by the developer. And once when the customers start using the uh, develop system, then the actual problem will come come up with need to be solved from time to time. So in this phase, uh, in the, uh, in this phase, uh, mostly tester, developer, customer, this business team, architect, and product uh, uh, product manager or and delivery manager are involved. Then uh, next uh, that is uh, so. Basically, waterfall model is a sequential model that is uh, used to implement SDLC in step by step, and each phase must be completed before the next stage uh, can become uh, begin with no uh, uh, begin with no overlap between the phases. And that means uh, when first stage get complete, then only process can move to second stage. So it uh, each phase is designed for performing specific dedicated activity and this model is named as waterfall model because uh, it is a diagrammatic representation resembles a cascade of waterfalls and generally waterfall model is used in small company so there there are some advantages and uh, disadvantages of waterfall model first advantage is this model is simple and easy to understand then uh, process and results are well documented then uh, the model uh, work well for smaller projects and uh, projects where requirements are get fixed. In this model, pages are processed and completed once at a time. And then next is the disadvantages. Uh, once an application is in testing stage, it is very diff difficult to go back and change. Uh, so no working software is produced until the life cycle gets completed. Uh, then high amounts of risk, uh, not a good model for complex and object-oriented projects, poor model for long and uh, ongoing projects. When to use the waterfall model, this model is used only when uh, the requirements are very well known, clear and fixed. And uh, most important, the project is short. Thank you.